accent and I'm here with Giacomo Bossa. Giacomo, can you please introduce yourself and the company you work for? Sure. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Giacomo Bossa. I am a lawyer. I work for two companies. I am a partner at Morris & Associate, which is a law firm that deals uh, with real estate matters. And I am also the managing attorney at Secure Title & Trust, which is uh, an attorney owned and operated title company. We are located in Doral, Florida by the Miami airport and we work all over Florida. Perfect, that, that was my other question. I wanted to find out if you work all over Florida, but Florida is one state, so uh, whatever goes on on the other coast goes on on this coast. So there's a lot of thing, there's a lot going on in the real estate market. Uh, personally, I just did a closing yesterday, but I just wanted to pick your brain and ask you, uh, what do you see happening recently in the market with your own clients? So the market has not stopped. Um, closings are happening. We did at least three or four closings over the past seven days. Um, we're doing them a little bit different than how we used to do them. But quite frankly, I think this acceleration on online closings is great um, because starting from January 1st, 2020, prior to anyone knowing about really the uh, coronavirus situation, uh, Governor Scott has signed a bill allowing online notaries in Florida. And so what happens now is that you can be in the comfort of your home, you will just log in with a notary online, you'll sign the documents, um, the notary will be able to notarize them on the computer, and those documents are gonna be valid as if you sign in person in front of the notary. Now, this is of course safer, um, it's much quicker. And uh, even if there wasn't a coronavirus situation, I will greatly suggest that people do it. Uh, all parties involved love it. Uh, realtors love it, buyers love it. Even the lenders are, are, are very excited because they can keep a package in a very organized manner and they get it right away, um, making sure that everything has been signed properly. So that there's been an acceleration in online closings and the activity has not stopped. Now, what I have seen is there is a little bit more complexity added to the negotiation phase. And if you want, I can tell you more about that. Yeah, sure. Can I um, get a little bit more understanding on the online uh, closings? Now, the first thing is basically we used to wait for the package to be faxed directly to the lender and this is taken care of because once they press the button, it goes directly to the lender. Is it correct? Um, yes and no. So it depends on what platform you use um, because what's happening now is that not every platform is the same. So there are gonna be, when I say platform, I mean providers of a technology service that allows the borrower to connect and sign the documents, and it allows the notary to connect and make sure that the, the documents are properly prepared. So some of these softwares are starting to develop a direct relationship with lenders or servicing companies so that the lender gets notified that those documents have been signed. But mm -hmm. understand that this has started only a few months ago so the curve, the learning curve is still going up and I would expect at least another six months. And that's only because we got a great acceleration because of coronavirus. So all people are using this because that's the safest way and the quickest way to do closings. So you'll see some provider, as soon as you sign, the lender will get notified. They'll get notified that everything is already proper and you'll get immediately ready to disperse. So the, the closing will be a lot quicker than before we had to get the documents, scan them in the machine, make sure they were in the order the lender wanted, send them to the lender. The lender was physically reviewing that every signature was in place. Now they don't need to do that because if they can upload the document themselves, they'll place the required signatures on the document. Oh. So the platform will not allow you to end the session until all signatures are on the document. Just like DocuSign, right? DocuSign has the same exact function, but well, imagine that together with a notary. So this is making every closing, not only you know, uh, safer, but it's really more precise. Mistakes are down to zero because the machine knows that all the signatures are where they need to be or you won't be able to end the session. And the last question about this, 
what does a buyer or a seller need to have in his home to be able to use this new system? Is like any laptop will do or? Is any there laptop with a camera will camera. do. Okay. I will not suggest doing this on a phone, although in theory, it is possible. Um, but if I were the notary, I'll feel a little uncomfortable because I, I like to see the space around you. I like to see you. You're going to have to show me the document to the camera. There's a, a number of ways to identify the person unless you know the person. So I know you, for example. So if right. I were to notarize something online for you, I would need to go through the three steps that are required to authenticate a person I don't know. So for you, I know you, you show up on the camera, so long as I can see you properly, I can notarize your documents. Gotcha. Now, uh, if you have a tablet, that's a good one. I think that's okay. Uh, it's a bigger screen. You get to see the documents. You can sign them better. So I will say anything from a tablet above, you're good. Okay. I wouldn't suggest that a phone is the way to go. Thank you so much, Giacomo. It really was really helpful to hear it from uh, the point of view of an attorney and a title company. Thank you so much for your uh, enlightening sharing of uh, all this information. Take you got care. it, Anastasia. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.